In this video, we will look at how to simulate dependent sources using pSpice. The four dependent sources are available in pSpice as part names E, F, G, and H. Part name E is for voltage control voltage source. Part name F is current control current source. Part name G is voltage control current source and part name H is current control voltage source. Let's take a look at two examples which illustrate how to simulate dependent sources in PSPICE. Consider the first example shown here. In this circuit, this is the dependent source. We can see that there is a plus minus inside the symbol. So this means that this is a dependent voltage source and the magnitude is in terms of a circuit current. Hence, this dependent source is a current controlled voltage source. This picture here shows how the circuit is wired up in PSPICE. The current control current source is part name H. Please pay particular attention to how the current source is wired up in the circuit. We can see that the controlling variable I phi is the current that enters the 5 ohm resistor in this direction. Hence here we are connecting this end of the 5 ohm resistor to this end of the current control voltage source and then this current flows out and connects back here to this node where the 10 ohm and the 2 ohm resistor join. Similarly, for this part of the connection, this is representing the connection shown here. Please note here that there is no node formed and this is just wires crisscrossing which is fine in PSPICE. This is the same circuit in PSPICE. If we double click the current source symbol, uh, if these checkboxes are ticked, uncheck them and this allows us to enter the gain coefficient which is 8 in our case and we can make sure that we go to change display and select both name and value and save attribute and then this coefficient gain will be displayed on the schematic and we can edit it by just double clicking. So here we can simulate this circuit. And this opens the uh, result window where this indicates that there were no errors and the circuit has been simulated correctly. To look at the DC bias voltages, we can enable the bias voltage display and this shows all the node voltages. And to look at the currents, uh, we can enable the enable bias current and this allows us to look at the currents in the circuit elements. Consider the second example shown here. In this circuit, the dependent source is here. We can see that there is an arrow inside the symbol. So this means this is a dependent current source. And the magnitude of the current source is in terms of another circuit current. Hence, this is a current controlled current source. Here, it is shown how to wire up this circuit in PSPICE. The current controlled current source is part name F, which is placed here. The, to control the magnitude of this dependent source, we can see that current I1 flows through the 6 ohm resistor in this direction. In order to avoid crisscrossing wires, we can use the PSPICE part name bubble. And by labeling the bubbles, we can make sure that the current I1 is flowing through this symbol in the correct direction. This is the same circuit constructed in PSPICE. We can double click the dependent source symbol and untick these checkboxes. And this leaves us the only parameter to configure for entering the gain. And we can go change display and select both name and value. Click OK, save attribute and OK. 
and then this displays the the gain coefficient on the schematic which can be edited by just double clicking here we are using part name bubble so this is part name get new part bubble and by labeling this bubble appropriately this is telling pspice that the controlling current is entering here and flowing through the dependent source in this direction and then back here again using the bubble part in conjunction with dependent sources ensures that there are no messy crisscrossing wires in the schematic so we can simulate this circuit and to look at the DC voltages uh, we can enable bias voltage display and also we can look at the currents uh, that are flowing in the circuit so these two examples illustrate how we can use PSPICE to simulate dependent sources.